I did not weigh in yesterday because I just totally forgot. I don't know why, but I did. Um, just, just dropped my son and three kids off at school. Um, and I'm racing over to the groomers. I don't know what made me make this appointment at 10 o'clock when I know I have to have him to school <laughs> by just a few minutes before 10. And she's on like way across town. Uh, she's on my side of town, so, but further past me. So I think I'm gonna text her really quick and say, I'm on my way. So hang on. Okay, just texted her and said, I'm on my way. I'm just running a few minutes behind. Hope I can get there on time. I'm trying to think of the best way to get there. Um, I'm gonna assume it's going to be to get onto the highway. I don't know of any other way. Um, but my dog is becoming a pain to take in the car, and I think I'm gonna just have to start leaving him at home because he wants to sit on my lap here, or my shoulder, or whatever, and look out the window and bark at everybody. And um, I, it's hard for me to drive while holding him, and I don't want him to do that. So. Um, so I just I think I'm just gonna have to either leave him at home or put him in his little crate in here and he's just gonna have to deal with it so um, but anyway so I, I weighed in I weighed the exact same as I did last Monday even though it's Tuesday this week um, so I don't know I don't I don't get how that happens I really don't um, but I guess you know I'm somewhat maintaining during these crazy busy weeks and um, I don't know I, I, I'm I waking up in the morning I don't even know what day it is isn't that terrible so this morning I'm like is it is it Wednesday and then I'm like no I think I think it's Saturday then I'm like wait a minute no, God get your head on it's only Tuesday <laughs> so it's just been crazy though we have been so just so busy um Saturday we took my son out to dinner we had won at two different functions um $50 gift cards to um this local restaurant here it's been in business for years here um it's more of a high I don't want to say it's a high-end restaurant but it's more of a high-end restaurant um but it's not like you have to wear a suit and tie to go there in a dress or anything like that it's just you know I don't know it's on the Lower East Side, too. It's not like it's in a great neighborhood or anything. Um, but I was there for a wake for my uncle a few years back. And um, I think I, I, I've never been there after that, you know. So we had $100. And so I said, let's go. We'll have a nice dinner. You guys can order whatever you want, you know. So the boys each ordered steak. I ordered fish, um, and it came with a salad. It was really good. Um, what else? We didn't have any dessert or anything like that. We did have um, zucchini strips they had. Everyone told us, get the zucchini strips, they're awesome. They're, they were all right. Um, I'm not a big zucchini person, so, um, you know, I wasn't like, you know, whatever. So, um, of course it's snowing. I don't know if you can see out my window, it's snowing. We have about two inches on the ground that came last night. I had to run down to my sister's house last night because I had, I'm making uh, these round, they're 12 inch round wooden circles and I'm painting them. And then I'm putting words on them. Like I did one that looks like it's white with a black strip and then red and it looks like, you know, it's supposed to be like Santa. And it says, ho, ho, ho. I cut the letters out of my Cricut. And then I put some greenery and a ribbon on it. And then um, I'm making one that says, let it snow. I'll put a picture of that in there. I don't know why I didn't take a picture of the ho, ho, ho one. Because those came out, I think, cuter. But um, the club my sister works at, she's treasurer, she's volunteer, whatever. Um, that's what she, It's not her job, but um, like her real job, paying job. Um, she ordered five of them off of me, uh, three let it snow and two ho ho ho's. And, um, so, um, I made those over the 
weekend, so I wanted to run those down to her. I've been in a decluttering mood for about a week and a half now, and I'm just either pitching things or donating things. Um, we donated two huge garbage bags to the Salvation Army um, because I'm just I'm just getting rid of things. Um, I, we got a bread maker and an ice cream maker for our wedding, you know, 22 years ago. I used the I used to use the bread maker all the time and stuff, um, and I still use it once a year. I use it only once a year, and I decided, you know what, it just takes up too much room, so I got rid of that. I got rid of the ice cream maker because I've I made ice cream with Roman especially a lot and stuff, but. Um, you can make it without an ice cream maker. You don't need to have an ice cream maker to make ice cream. And so I got rid of it because I'm like, and I have a KitchenAid. If I ever need or want an ice cream maker, I can get the attachment for that. Um, but I just decided that, you know what, it's just taking up space. I don't need this. So we just, I just have been getting rid of so much stuff. I'm going to try to swipe this off my phone. I may lose you because... Ever since I got my screen fixed, it's so oversensitive that I just like bump something and it takes me somewhere else and it's been very annoying to me. So anyway, um, so then I went upstairs and I started decluttering all of my craft stuff. And I'm like, you know, you watch, I watch people on YouTube and they make stuff and I'm like, oh, I'm going to get that and make it. And then I will, but then it's like, then I don't, you know, like. I'll have extra or leftover and I don't really need to make any more and I don't know and and you know I don't know I just uh, so I have so I said to my sister because she's also involved in the Benedictine sisters they have um, she runs their bingos and she does fundraisers for the alumni and stuff and they run uh, different things throughout our city they have an old folks home they run they run a daycare they also have uh, like what's called the neighborhood art house and stuff. So I said, could they use like a whole bunch of craft su supplies and stuff? She's like, yeah. So I went through everything I had and I had a huge box of stuff and then three or four bags of stuff. And I told her, I'm like, I don't even want the bags back. So, um, little icy there heading on to the highway. Oh yes, I know my traction thing is telling me it's icy. Um, so I said, so last night I ran everything down to her because tonight their club is, I think it's their Christmas party or something. So she needed those signs for tonight because I think they're giving them away or raffling off or something. So I, I said, I'm going to bring this stuff down, open your garage. I'll put it all in your car and so that's what I did. So I got rid of a ton of that stuff. The other stuff we took to Salvation Army and got rid of. Um, some things were not worth anything, so we threw it away. Um, but just in the decluttering, getting rid of mood, because um, I'm just just tired of it all, you know. So oh gosh, it's 10:07. Oh, I have two exits on the highway to get. So that's what I spent my weekend doing. And then, um, so that was, and then yesterday, yesterday we had dental appointments, so I had to get my son out of school at 1.30. Um, we had our cleanings, no cavities, no nothing, all good. But I have to take my son back today again at two o'clock, so I have to pick him up at 1.30 because um, his molars are in now. They're completely in, and he's got to get them. I can't think of the word. Um, sealed. They seal them with something. So he's got to get his molar sealed. I think it's just two. I, I don't really know. Um. So that's it. All his teeth are in except wisdom. Um. So got to go back and do that today, and then. And then I think that's it for today. Then I'm going to go home, make dinner. Our tree is up. The lights are on. 
it'll get we'll put the ornaments on today and then um, I'm hoping my son gets the train track put up around the back of the tree so that I can put my village up tomorrow and then they can finish the train and then the tree our inside will be done um, it kind of goes in stages in our house and that's absolutely fine and then they have outside stuff to still put up but that's they can do that whenever tomorrow's our day from hell so tomorrow the kids get out of school early because in the Catholic Church it's a holy day tomorrow so he'll get out of his high school classes at 9 20 because they're on a.m. Uh, liturgy schedule so he gets out at 9 20 then I have a half hour to waste with him like I did on Monday um, we have to just hang around for a half hour before I can take him to school because they're not allowed to come to school till a certain time because in the past kids have screwed around and gotten in trouble and done done things they should not have done and so now they won't allow the kids in till a certain time so I'll go pick him up, waste some time with him, get him to school, come home. Then I don't have to pick him up until 10 to 4. I was going to go to the kids' mass tomorrow at 1.30, but um, here's why I'm not. So I pick him up at 10 to 4 because he's got band after school. I'll take him to the piano, and then he has a 4.30 haircut, which she knows we're going to be a few minutes late because we're coming from music. And then he is serving 5.15 mass. So I'm like, we're gonna just make everything, it's gonna be tight. So in, so instead of, I would have, it was, if I was gonna go to the kids' mass, then I'd have to wait from 2.30 till 10 to 4 to get him. And I, I, I'm, you know, I would just have to waste time or go home and then go back and I don't wanna do that. But then I'm like, okay, well, if you're serving 5.15 mass, which he doesn't have to, but he volunteered to, then I said, I'll just go to 5.15 at our church. I won't go to the kids' mass. So that's what we're doing. It's crazy. Crazy schedules lately. And if you think that's bad, <laughs> he's covering for somebody Christmas Eve at our church um, because the one kid that's on the schedule cannot serve it. And then he's like, Roman, can you do it? And he's like, yeah, I'll do it. So, so we're, our our Christmas Eve Mass is 4.30 and then his school church because we have school church and family church school church asked him to serve midnight Mass because they don't have enough kids that will do it so he's like yeah I can serve so we're going to 4.30 Mass Oops. we're going to 4.30 Mass on Christmas Eve and then we're going to midnight Mass so I said we are going to have to sleep in between because your father and I just will not make it. <laughs> so that's our crazy Christmas Eve. Thank God we're not having, we might have my mom over if she wants to come over Christmas Day, but we're not having anybody else because we just don't. And um, so we usually have his brother and stuff, but they're going to Florida where my niece moved. So they're going to go see her and they haven't seen her since they took her there in May. So anyway. So that's where I'm at. Life is just, I feel like, I feel like it's just crazy right now. And we have our market coming up. So our last baking day is Saturday. We don't have much to do. We do have to do one small batch of three of the cookies that we already have made. Um, we have enough for orders, but we don't have any extra, like zero extra. So we just want to have extra on hand because sometimes we do have people come in to just buy. Um, we have to make our sweet bread with raisin on Saturday. That's what my husband's going to do. And then I'll join him after the cookie baking. But the other thing I have to do on Saturday is my son and I, we take poinsettias around to our shut-ins from church. So my son and I will be doing that at noon. We pick up the poinsettias. Uh, so I'll have to go pick him up, go get the poinsettias, and then start dropping those off. Then we have one lady that she's in a home and they can't have they can't have potted anything with dirt <laughs> I don't know why I, I, I'm sure there are good reasons and stuff but it just kind of made us chuckle like when they called to order they're like nothing with dirt 
so okay now I don't want to miss her street I don't think it's this one I think it's this one it's a, it's a dirt road so but anyhow so I am on the road to drop him off to get groomed and then I'm heading to Sam so I'll be back in a second okay puppy has been dropped I don't have to pick him up until noon so I have like an hour and a half. So I'm going to run to Sam's Club, get what I need for church. I'm going to get a couple things for us too. Nothing major, but um, my son needs some applesauce. He likes those go-go applesauce things for his lunch. Um, he really likes those pickles I've been packing for him. But <clears throat> I get those at Aldi's. And uh, I don't really think I'm going to Aldi's today. So, there's something else he wanted. I can't, think. oh, I'll get him some more yogurt. Um, but anyway, so I'm, as far as like Christmas gifts and stuff, I think I'm good um, on Christmas gifts. I have all gift cards bought. I would like to get some lottery tickets yet. And I always give our mailman some lottery tickets and like 20 bucks. Um, so I'm gonna do that. I, I got it. so I need to get lottery tickets yet. Um, I'm making all my sisters one of their one of those round door signs, but theirs are gonna say welcome. And then I painted them in like the colors of their houses. So if they have like uh, like my one sister has a gray gray house. Um, with blue. So I did it blue with white so that it kind of contrasts their houses. So like my brother's house is yellow and green. So I did his yellow and green. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I don't know if this is a double turning lane or not. I don't think it is. So I think I can get over. So I'm heading back up to the highway to head over to Sam's and get what I need there. I'm probably gonna have to stop at GFS too. And then that's it. So, um, as far as like eating and stuff, I've been doing really well. I've been doing well with my with my steps still too. Um, and let me tell you, my legs feel it at the end of the night. I am like sore, but it's all right. I mean, I I need to keep moving. So one thing I'm um, doing, I've been writing some things down. I am setting myself some goals, and it's it's I'm it's going to not be on display. It's not just going to be written and tucked into a book. It's going to be on display, so I can see that. Oh yeah, this is my goal, and this is what I want to achieve. Um, I know I can lose this weight. I know I can with no problem, as long as I stick to the plan. So that's what's going to happen and I want I want myself I, like I always feel like I'm prepared and everybody tells me that too they're like oh my gosh you're so prepared you're so this you're so organized and blah 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 but yet I don't think I am there are times I'm not and I that's where things fall apart so I I want to be more oh, I'm like looking for the exit um I am prepared and I am organized except for when it comes to like our food because it is so easy in life to just order something and pick it up or go through a drive through You know, growing up, that we never, my parents never went through a drive through My parents never brought take home home. We never did. You know, every once in a while we went out to eat like once, maybe twice a year. But it was not, those were not options. My mom cooked dinner every night, no matter what we did. Of course, our lives back then were not as busy as lives are now. Um, it, it, like life was so much simpler, I feel, um, than it is now. And so that's my, my plan is to think ahead on my meals, you know, it's okay to plan them out and, and know what you're going to have, but plan my day around them so that, like, tomorrow, with my crazy day, um, and every, my craziness starts when I leave my house at 3.30, 
to pick my kid up at 10 to 4, to get him to music by 4, to sit there till he's done till 4.30 to get him to haircut and wait till he's done and rush him to church by 5.15. So my plan tomorrow is up until 3.30, I'm going to get dinner all made and prepared. So um, I already know we're going to have sliced potatoes. I'm just going to fry them up in a pan um, and we're going to have smoked Polish sausage and I'll fry that up as well with I just cook it in a pan with some onion um, and peppers I'll probably put peppers in with it and then um, I will put some sort of vegetable on in the steamer and then um, I'll cook it like halfway then we come home I'll put it on for like the last 10-15 minutes whatever it will be and then so that when we come home from church it'll be I'm sure 6 or 6 30 that I I have dinner prepared. I could just heat up those potatoes, heat up that sausage, finish those uh, the vegetables, so that we can sit down maybe by seven and have our dinner. Which it's late, but you know what? That's okay. And that's that's where I kind of lose it because I'm always like, oh, it'll be way too late to eat. So we just should get some. It's not too late to eat. You know, it, I mean, it is for us, but it's it's not going to happen every day, you know? So I just got to get myself prepared mentally to get that stuff ready and, and, you know, be ready for that. Um, now things that happen like last minute, <laughs> um, that it's a little different, but I was thinking about that as well. And, I'm, and I thought there's always the option of grilled cheese and tomato soup. I always I have canned tomato soup you know um, I just have to think better instead of always thinking to let's go get a sandwich at the pizzeria or let's just hit the drive-thru and you know so that's that's one of my goals for next year is to um, think better when when the I think because I'm a planner and because I am organized and stuff when something goes haywire, it's like, ah, that's not what I planned for. And I, you know, like I can't, I, I have to grasp the change and go with it and make do instead of just giving up and, and giving in and getting the pizza sandwich and you know what I mean? The Go to the pizzeria and order a sandwich. So that is one of my main goals for next year because so many things for us happen on the fly or crazy days like tomorrow happen. Um, so I just want to better prepare myself for that. Now, I'm going to tell you people right now. I'm doing 64. It's only 55 here. And it's like a blizzard. And these people are past me. Like I'm standing still. I'm, I'm going right now almost 10 miles over the speed limit. There's always cops up here too. So that's why I watch. But anyway. Um, so that's one thing I want to work on next year is better prepare myself for things that happen, things that go wrong, and then not giving up on what I want to have for dinner or what we could have for dinner. Um, that used to happen a lot with me for lunch, but lunch used to be my, my struggling. Breakfast and lunch were always my struggling points. But ever since I started like having my salads, I, I, I don't know why, I just love those salads for lunch and it works for me. Um, I know a lot of people will comment and say, you're eating the same thing. I know I am, but that's what I like to eat. Um, so I don't know, I have to stop and get eggs today too. I forgot my list at home. I, here again, I was trying to get out this morning with the dog and um, the mailman showed up, rang the doorbell, so then the dog goes nuts. So I gotta hold the dog, answer the door, get a package from him. And then I, but I was heading into the living room to get my list and I forgot it. So, but anyway, I'm going off a track. So, um, so anyway, I like my breakfast sandwiches. I love them in the morning. It, it just, like I ate it around eight o'clock. I am not hungry then. I used to, when I would just have whatever for breakfast because I struggled so bad with what to have for breakfast, um, I would be hungry by like 10 o'clock. 
well, I don't have that anymore. I'm not hungry by 10 o'clock. I'm good. So, um, so I'm fine with that. And then what else? My lunches. That was another thing. I would struggle with what to eat for lunch. What should I have for lunch? What should I eat? What should I make? And I would never make the right choices. And then I started making my salad. And um, I really liked it. And then I started adding different things to it. And I still really like it. So I do change it up though. Like yesterday I had pasta visual for lunch. Because that's what I made for soup for the week. Um, and it's really low in points. So I thought well I'll have that for lunch. Um, something different for my salad. And I'll probably have my uh, and why I didn't want to eat my salad yesterday is because we went and got our teeth cleaned and checked and um, I thought I don't want her to find like remnants of salad in my teeth I, I brushed it before we went but oh my gosh it's like a white out up here so I know it don't look it but anyway um, so I was like well I better not have my salad today. <laughs> I know that's probably just silly but so anyway, so I'm getting off the highway now and going to go to Sam's Club. Get, I only need, I need like, um, well I need eggs, but I think I'm going to go get those at the other place. And sugar I'll get from the other place. Um, that GFS, only because I like the way it comes there better. So I need eggs, sugar, butter. Butter I'll get from Sam's Club. Um... I might have to call my husband because we we went over this last night when we were doing our our order for the market where I was telling everything up and then we we're going through oh my god Ooh, excuse me the recipes and trying to figure things out and so he's like we better get more of this we better get more of that and then he oh nuts I have to get nuts uh walnuts so he he was like you better um he wanted me to check my food coloring down there for the frosting. I have plenty of food coloring. Um, I would like to find, if I can, I don't know if I can, bags, frosting bags, because the ones I have are small, but I might just have to make do with the small ones, you know? So, um, but I, we're good on everything else because they're, you know, I'm, I always think ahead, plan ahead. See, I can do it with other things, but I, when it comes to food, I just, it's just, I take the easy way out, I guess. So, um, so I think that's it. I don't know, I don't think anything else has really been going on that's any great or anything. So, um, just going to take myself and go in. I'll wear my Santa mask. Look how cute this is. So cute. So I'll wear that in. Um, Cause I still mask up, even though you don't have to. But I ain't getting sick now. Um, but anyway, so have a good Tuesday. And I don't know when I'll be back. I might just be popping on to give you updates of where I'm at. Um, I'll be honest, I'm really not recording points or anything right now. I just. I am, I'm doing good with what I'm eating. I'm being careful and stuff. Um, I don't have anything bad in my house. Like I don't have sweets or anything like that in my house. We did have a cake for my son, but that's gone. Um, I just got a small cake for him. Um, so I am being very careful and stuff. I just, I haven't had time to go on and do it. And that's another goal of mine is to make time for myself and do stuff that I need for myself. But right now, I'm trying to decorate my house. I'm trying to... I have to order my Christmas cards. I have to get my Christmas cards ready for church, for our nonprofit, for our church festival, because I send them to all our vendors for the festival. Because um, I always feel that it is nice to uh, be remembered. You know, it's not... We're not just always asking you for money for something. We also remember you at the holidays. I just think that adds a nice touch. Um, it's just my own little thing. Um, I will say one thing I'm doing for myself that I've been so happy about. 
I've been doing my hair. I've been straightening it every morning because about this, about two inches of it yet still has perm. So and it's just, it's not pretty perm. It's like wavy perm. It's not, you know, so I've been getting my straightener out. I've been blowing dry my hair, which I never do. Um, but my groomer wants my dog used to the hair dryer because he wasn't when she had him the first time. So, but he is now. Um, so he loves the hair dryer now. He was standing there right with me while I was drying it, waiting for him, me to put it on him. So I told her that. I said, he loves the blow dryer, so <laughs> he should have no problem with them now. Um, but anyway, uh, so I have been taking care of my hair and doing that, and I'm really happy about that. I am also going to be painting my nails sometime soon here because I love painting them around the holidays, but I also have these stick-on I don't know they're I, I've never done them before I bought them last year my neighbor was selling them she sells those nails that stick on and I have really cute Christmas ones. so I thought I think I'll probably do those sometime so I am gonna do those as well so I need to just little by little take care of myself and do things for myself so that's the plan so setting my goals, taking care of myself, things I need to be doing. So have a good, oh goody, Sam's Club's crowded. I just love that. Um, have a good rest of your week. I don't know when I'll be back and I will hopefully talk with you all soon.